The next step that I'd like to do is to change the color scheme here a little bit, mainly the area out here outside our window, and then the background color here, and then we'll also put some padding around each of these objects. Again, we're going to make it a little more look a little more like the Super Jock and Jill. So to do this, the first thing I want to do is make a screenshot of this, which I've already done. You know, hit the, my print screen keys, and then go to Photoshop and paste this into Photoshop. And then what I can do is go through, and I'm going to pick this blue color, this light blue color, and then the blue color off of this weather banner, and try to match those up to make something that looks like this. So I've got those colors already. And the next thing I'm going to do then, once I have those colors, is actually go here to do the gradient background. And I'm going to go back to my website, TonySacco.com, and then here's the URL if you want to get at this. I'll put a link on this video if I remember. Um, but I'm going to grab this code. And uh, earlier on, we put a gradient background. But this code, if we add it to the Microsoft-specific code, will work with every browser. So I'm going to come in here, paste that code in here, and then add the colors. So again, I went to Photoshop and used my color picker to get the correct colors for this. And so this is the gradient outside of the web page. Then the next thing I'm going to do is come down in here in the main wrapper section. Or actually, let's show you what this does for us before we do this. OK, so this will convert our page to look like this, which changes the background color out here. The next thing I want to do is change the color in this section. From that white, I want to make that a blue. And so here in the background color, again, I picked this color from Photoshop, but no longer white. Let's take a look at it. Oops, sorry, I had to save that. So it changes it to match the blue on this. Then the next thing I want to do is change the amount of padding on these guys. And let's let's look at this in uh, one of the other browsers. So I want to change the amount of padding. I want to increase the padding on the top and bottom of these guys, but leave, I kind of like this little narrower padding on the sides. So that we will do on the default page. And that's the amount of padding here. So I'm going to give them 30 pixels of padding on the top and bottom and 12 pixels on the left and right. And let's look at that one in here. Oops, I'm sorry. I already had it set here. So it'll look like this. And then the last thing I want to do is increase the width of this picture so that it moves over. And we have, I want to actually make the distance between the two pictures roughly the same as the amount of padding here. So I'm going to just do this by uh, trial and error. So the width on this is 550. I want to make it a little bit bigger, so I'll make it 520. And if you can want to stay and watch this, but this all I'm going to do is again by trial and error make that picture bigger. And that actually works out pretty good. So it looks like I have a consistent amount. Um, the only other thing I might do is, you notice this looks a little clunky. We're having this one size, this a different size. I might make all my padding the same as this. And we can go check on our master page what that is. So on our main wrapper, we set the padding. It's 8 pixels. So let's try to see if we can't do that. I should have looked at that first. So if we make this 8 pixels here, and then let's take a look at it again. Okay, so since this padding is narrower, I need to increase this. And I could probably figure this out in my little head, but we uh, made this one from 12 to 8, so there's 4, 8, 
12, 16, so I should increase this by 16 pixels. Let's see if my math is correct. For some reason, that seems like it's a little much. So if we go to 536 on this, my math is right. Okay, so it's still a little big, but you notice it's this list this, this looks cleaner to me. Again, kind of having everything be the same size. Um, this is again something you don't really have to worry about. Let's go to 538. But these are some, some of those little details that just make a website look good, right? P humans just like things to line up. So let's leave this here for now. But again, this is. This is looking better to me. And let's look at it. Well, let's do one last thing and look at it in IE. You know the reason that this looks so much bigger too, I just want to show you this, is under the view. I have my zoom set on this. If we go back to zoom at 100%, this will look just like it does in the other browsers. I should probably be looking at it this way. Okay, so again, things are looking pretty good and lining up pretty good here. Uh, we'll come back and tweak this a little bit more in the next video.